all right so let's continue so now that we have checked the types of the value types of each of the fields we just need to check the values as well in the same way so let's do that so for that we will again be creating a new function and let's name it as verify field values something like this so well we also need to have the same incoming data variable so let's copy the same thing over here and now let's add in the checks the conditions so starting with the created art we are checking that like it is supposed to be a timestamp as that's what we are checking over here so along with this we also need to check that it is the current timestamp like the time when the request is being made so for that over here within the incoming data the created add field this thing it should be equals to the current time and for that we can again use the same thing that we saw over here like the rules that we get using the test mode it checks that the time is more than or not more than it's it's less than the the next 30 days something like that so we will be using the same variable right over here so over here let's add in double equals request dot time as such so we only want to allow if the created art is equals to the time of the request which means the current time so that's perfect but for the time being we will be changing this to be less than the reason is using the simulator if we select like while building up the document the data if we select the timestamp we do not really have any option for the current time so we won't be able to test this thing as of like using this simulator so that's why we like we have to use the less than or uh, more than kind of things so this essentially means that the created art is is in the past so for that let's well one second okay we have commented the required fields so it means we do not have to construct the entire thing let's just pass in the require the not required the created art which is supposed to be a timestamp and let's first test with a with a timestamp in the future as such and this thing will actually we have to call the function in order for it to work so now if we test this thing out this should be denied so that's perfect and the reason should be somewhere around here the verify field values as you can see so that is great do we have the yep we do this thing so it's false as you can see so that's perfect now let's try the same thing with the timestamp in the past let's create it at field with a timestamp in the past something like this and now if we test it out it should be allowed so that's great so that's one thing of the list and let's continue so the next is the long url well actually this thing we will be looking into this in the end because i kind of faced uh, a roadblock on this thing as it requires a regex and i came to know that regex do not the regular expression do, do not really work uh, the way that they do in normal javascript so or to say uh, in the on the client side or we can just say that like how they normally work in other words they do not work the same way within the security rules environment so we will be looking into this thing in the end so let's work on the name on the name field first so this is supposed to be the website name uh, the name of the link to say in other words and for this if you remember that we did add certain rules that the name is supposed to be like minimum three and maximum five characters and i remember that we kind of wrote uh i made a mistake while adding in that check like it it should be less than or equals to and more than or equals to but i kind of use the the more than or less than so we will fix that later for now we just need to add in the same checks in the like over here within the security rules so let's do that 
it's actually really hard coding on a low resolution screen anyway let's add in the double ampersand we again need to check within the incoming data this time the name field so we will again be using the size method that we used over here to check the size of the short code the length or to say the number of characters of the string so let's call the size method as such and we need to check that if this thing like we only want to allow if this thing is more than or equals to 3 and in the same way adding double ampersand and the it is uh, what should should it be it is more than or equals to 15 as such so we need to check and we only want to allow when this is the case so now let's test this thing as well let's pass in the name we will be passing in one two for the time being if i test this th out and <laughs> it should fail oh, sorry it should be denied so that's fine and we can actually see this is where it should be false that's what it is perfect so now let's change the name to be 123 which should be allowed and if we test it out well created art is undefined so what is wrong uh, uh, uh. okay okay obviously well one second the incoming data created art okay yeah obviously because we have these two chained up together and we are only passing one field so why did it work the anyway so the point is like we have to pass in the created art so for the time being what we can do is just to take just to test individual fields let's do one thing let's just place it at the top and we can just return it as such and let's comment this thing we kind of have to do this thing in order to test individual field as such so now if we try running this thing this should be allowed let's see so that's perfect over here is it more than or, or equals to 3 yep it is and the same thing for the 15 one so that's perfect let's try um, more than 15 something like this if we test this out it should be denied that's perfect so over here the first check it should be true because that's what it is it is more than 15 however the other check this thing should be false it is more than 15 which should not be the case or to say it is not less than 15 so that's what it is and i think yep that's two things of the list Mm, okay so yep let's just shift this thing over here well actually it is over here so anyway so now let's test the other field i will be using the same way like returning individual check for the time being so the next thing is the short code the short code so it is supposed to be six characters so we kind of need to do the same thing incoming data and the short code we need to call the size method and we can do that because we are checking that over here we are checking that it is a string or not so it's like this thing is available because it's a string so we just need to check whether it, this is whether it, whether it is six characters as such and now let's well actually it doesn't even make sense to test because but let's do it anyway if we do this thing it should be allowed sorry it should be denied because it has to be six characters so whoops whoops okay string if we try the six characters this thing should be allowed and if i have more than not name more than six it should be failed like it should be denied 
why do i always get confused between denied and failed kind of the same thing in this context anyway so this is working let's dismiss this thing and let's get over here so yep that's three checks let's again shift it at the end and comment it out for the time being adding a double ampersand so now let's test the total clicks so yep this thing uh it has to be zero that's it so the other thing is that as you know that it's schemaless the file store and we the thing is using the security rules it's it's an important thing to keep in mind using the security rules you cannot mutate the the value or the data of the document which is being um which is being created or being updated it's not possible using the security rules to update the data to modify the data so that's the reason why the total clicks even though this is something which is like it is something which should be handled in the back end or to say it should be added from the back end but we are still structuring the app in such a way that the total clicks field is included within the document and that to the default value and the only value that it can be like while the creation of document it is um to say in other words like it has to be zero while creating a document so that's what we need to check over here incoming data the total clicks whether this thing is equals to zero so because we cannot modify the data so that's why it is something that the user has pass the user has to pass and it has to be this thing so now if we create a document let's do that total clicks and let's keep the string type because let's see if it is throwing the error in the verify required fields and as you can see that's the case over well oh, one second this thing is true verify f wait a second okay yeah this thing is true but the where is it second should be denied but we should be failing it at the verify required fields this thing it should be true so true so that's kind of odd it should not happen mm, one second verify required fields okay so we are not calling the verify field types and why is that so wait a second so that's kind of odd mm okay can i go up over here so we are calling the is owner we are calling the verify required fields which should be the case but in the middle we are kind of skipping this thing which should not be the case did i do it intentionally maybe because we are not passing all the fields yeah it could be the case mm, let's test it out it it should throw an error because we are not passing some fields saying is required if i field mm, one second create at the time stamp yeah it's throwing an error okay so now i do get why we skipped this thing so let's do one thing let's keep it the same way or we can just return back true and comment all the other fields for the time being if we do this thing and if we try it again it should be denied and the reason should be that this thing is not equals to zero as that's what it is so now let's try the same thing total clicks a number and the zero type or oh sorry the value of zero 
so now if we test it out it should be allowed so that's great that's what it is okay hmm all right so that is kind of all the fields that we have we are checking all these conditions okay i'm kind of wondering why did i skip this thing anyway we do know that it works so now we just need to validate or to check the long url field the value of it as it is supposed to be a url so let's do that and i'll have to break the video 